Please welcome, all the way from the UK, Steve Bougea! <laughs> Melbourne. Uh, I'm, I'm Steve, lovely to be here. Um, 2016 was a pretty good year for me, guys. Sorry to buck the trend. Uh, I had a, <laughs> my bad, I had a great year, sorry. Uh, I'll tell you why. 2016, guys, I came very close to getting my first ever girlfriend. <laughs> Don't patronise me. Uh, that, so close. Like, honestly, like, touching distance. It was amazing. Um, <laughs> What happened, I'll tell you. Uh, I met a girl called Lindsay, and she was beautiful. She was perfect. And, and we sort of hanged out. We met, actually, in a nightclub. And I don't know if you could tell, I do not go to nightclubs very often. Uh, I hate them. They're awful places. Uh, they're, they're just sort of sticky and full of people. Um, uh, and Lindsay, she hated nightclubs too. And I was like, oh my God, you might be the one, right? Let's stay together. Uh, I just, the, the, the thing about nightclubs is I find as soon as someone gets in them, they change their mindset. You know, they become instantly more horny than they were like four seconds before. As soon as they step in the nightclub, they're like, oh, I've just met you. Oh, you're a stranger. Let's have sex. Let's go have sex in the nightclub toilets. Let's have sex in the nightclub toilets. No. Uh, some of us are trying to use those nightclub toilets for what they're supposed to be used for, right? Hiding. Um, the, um, <laughs> But Lindsay, Lindsay, oh my God, we hanged out every single day. It was amazing. She was perfect. She was the funniest person I've ever met. And uh, th this had never happened to me before. Normally I get to like the second date and then the girl will work out that I am more annoying than funny. You know, like the, the balance will tip, you know, like the girl will be like, oh, okay. That's not a character that you're doing up on stage, is it? Uh, that's real. You do that voice in restaurants, don't you? Uh, the, <laughs> Hello, dessert, please. Yeah, it's um. <laughs> but Lindsay found it endearing. I don't know why, but she did. And we just hanged out every day. We became very coupley. Very. If you saw her, she'd be like, "That's a bloody couple." Um, uh, we, we we had little couple jokes, you know, in, in jokes between us. Um, the the jokes were um, Lindsay teased me for being bad at accents. Not very really good at accents. Really hampers my ability as a stand-up comedian. Uh, and then my joke for Lindsay was, uh, "I love you. Please don't leave me." Which is. <laughs> Both very solid gags, aren't they? Uh, in their own right. Uh, pretty rib ticklers, you know? And, uh, but we didn't become girlfriend and boyfriend, guys. We didn't get that far. And, uh, you see, what happened was at the end of the festival, Lindsay went traveling. She went off to South America for six months on like a gap year thing. And she said, we'd see what happened when she gets back. But like, we know what's going to happen, don't we? Like, we know what travelling is, don't we? We all know what people do when she's out there doing the travelling thing, finding herself in bed with loads of men, I would imagine. Because uh, that's what travelling is, isn't it? That's what tra travelling, when you boil it down, is 20% looking at historic buildings, 30% drinking alcohol, and 50% having sex with people with dreadlocks. That's what it is, isn't it? Like that. <laughs> I've seen Instagram right there. Ugh, awful thing. The, she's out there having a good time. You know, having the she's probably in South America in a bar with some guy in one of the South American countries. Right? I, I know all of them, don't test me. Uh, the, she's in a bar with some guy called Ignacio. <laughs> and she's like, oh, oh, Ignacio, oh, you're so handsome. Oh, oh, you're so handsome. Oh, I'm so innocent. Oh, I'm so innocent. I want you to corrupt me, Ignacio. Corrupt me like a Colombian government official, right? <laughs> Classic South American flirting, right? That, and then Ignacio is like, Ah, hello, Lindsay, I am Ignacio. <laughs> not bad, is it? Not bad. Ah, uh, oh, hello, I am Ignacio. Oh, I, I am not sure where I am from. Uh, somewhere in South America. <laughs> oh, Lindsay, oh. So Ignacio, uh, do you want to try some Argentinian steak? Why don't you try some Argentinian steak? He's from Argentina for this bit. Uh, that... <laughs> Why don't you try some Argentinian steak? Best steak in the world. Oh, I've never had Argentinian steak before. Oh, I love Argentinian steak. Oh, it's so meaty. Oh, it's so succulent. Oh, it's so much better than British steak. British steak's so stringy and doesn't have a stable income. The, um... <laughs> 
it's Ignacio again. Uh, that... <laughs> oh, no, Lindsay, no, no, you mustn't forget about the boy back home. Remember, the boy, the Steve, he's so handsome in a, in a Neville Longbottom kind of way. That... <laughs> fuck you all, literally fuck you all. <laughs> I'm about to break character there, but I'm furious with that. Uh, that... <laughs> Let me just get back into... Um. <laughs> oh, Lindsay, oh, never mind. Let's go back to your hostel. I'll invade you like the Falkland Islands, like that. Um. <laughs> Get off, Ignacio. Um, no. I don't know, maybe that, I imagine that's what's going on. Uh, no. I, was, I was heartbroken. End of the festival, I was absolutely heartbroken. Uh, she went traveling, I was, I was heartbroken. And there's, we've all been heartbroken. There's two ways you deal with it, isn't there? Two ways you deal with heartbreak. You either sort of lock yourself in your room, cry, whine and moan, or you get out there in public and do that there, right? Which is... Um, <laughs> what I chose to do. Um, no, I, I, I had to do something, I had to act. I had to, you know, be proactive. So what I did, I, I, you know, I've been checking her Facebook sort of every hour, and I, I just booked flights. I booked flights to go to Brazil in December of last year. And luckily, she was pleased to see me. And we had the best holiday ever. Like, it was, um, I was there for 10 days. We, just, it, we all clicked, we clicked again. It was like being back at the festival, and we did all the traveling stuff, you know, went along Copacabana Beach, and went up the Christ Redeemer, and uh, I shanked the guy with dreadlocks. I did all the stuff. And, uh, <laughs> She was furious, nearly derailed it all. Um, the, and I'm uh, pleased to say she got back in March, and uh, in 2017, I got my first ever girlfriend. Uh, wow. Thank you very much. <laughs> nah, she doesn't exist, made it up. Um, the, um, <laughs> you've been lovely, I've been Steve Bajer. See you again soon, man, thank you very much, good night.